Our goals during this learning session are to guide families through how to use Infant in Campus, our district's online tool, for reviewing your child's assignments and grades, as well as how to find contact information for your child's teacher if you have any questions or concerns about your child's progress. I'm going to start by going to the district's main webpage, which is ccsd.net. Don't forget that this website is a great place to go to and find any important information from the district. When that page opens, we have the blue words which direct us to different kinds of information. I'm going to go to the fourth one in, which is Infinite Campus, and click once. This will take me to the information page about Infinite Campus. I'm going to scroll to where it says Campus Parent Student and click the blue button below. This will open a new Campus Parent Student information page where I'm going to scroll down to the Infinite Campus icon and click once. This will take me to the green Infinite Campus page where I can select to continue with either the Campus Student or the Campus Parent application. We will be clicking on the bottom Campus Parent button so that you will have access to all your children that are currently enrolled in CCSD. Now you will be on the page where you will enter your username and password. If you have any problems with your login information, please make sure to call your child's school during school hours and the office staff will be able to assist you. After you have entered your username and password, being careful to capitalize where needed since passwords are case sensitive, click the blue Login button to be taken to your account. Don't forget that when you first log in, there may be important information displayed in the Message Center in the middle of the page. Make sure to always review any information located here. So first, let's walk through how to find your child's grades and assignments. We are going to start by going to the menu located on the left-hand side and clicking on the fifth option down, which is Grades. When that page opens, notice that now in the right-hand corner, you will be able to see your child's name. If you have more than one child enrolled in CCSD, you will see a small arrow next to this child's name that you can click on and select which child you wish to view. I'm going to start by looking at a secondary student who is in high school. After you have selected the correct child, we will look back at the grades page. At the top, you will notice where it says all terms and then Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, which stands for the four quarters that our school year is broken into. Under each class name, you will see a section marked progress grade, quarter grade, and citizenship. Go to the second section and click on your child's quarter grade where it says in progress. Teachers may choose to break the quarter grade into sections for assignments, daily participation, or projects. So this may look different for students at different schools or grade levels. When you click on each section, you will see the assignments that make up that portion of the grade. On the right side, you will see the scores for each assignment if it has already been graded. I'm going to go to the right-hand side again and switch over to the middle school student. Middle school students operate on a semester-based model and take four courses that last half the school year and then four different courses that will last the second half of the school year. Because of this, each of the regular quarters is split up into a quarter A and quarter B. Middle school students will receive their final grades for their first four classes when semester one is over on the last day of quarter B. Again, you can go under each section of the quarter grades to see the assignments and the grades that your child has received so far. Now I'm going to switch to the elementary student account by clicking on the small arrow next to the displayed student's name and choosing the other student's name. Now that the elementary student's information is displayed, you will see all subjects that your child is graded on. Elementary grades are slightly different since each subject is broken into areas of focus that are meant to be mastered by the end of the school year. You will notice that the year is not broken into quarters. Your child's progress will be tracked all year long. Students earn traditional overall letter grades for core content classes. The numbers two, which means meet standards, and one, which means approaching standards, represent the student's level of understanding within specific standards. 
Therefore, a one would mean that this is an area where your child requires a little more support with understanding. If you have any questions about any part of your child's grades or assignments, please contact your child's teacher and he or she will be happy to help you. To find the contact information for your child's teacher, let's go back to the menu on the left-hand side and click on Grades again to see the list of all your child's classes. Click on the blue name of the class that the teacher is the instructor for. Now, click on Course Info where the teacher's information is listed. In elementary, your child's teacher is usually the same for all the main subjects, but in secondary, your child may have a different teacher for each subject. Here you will find the teacher's name, the school's phone number, and the teacher's email. When you click on the teacher's email address, a new window will appear opening the email service connected to your computer. Or you can right-click on the teacher's email address, scroll down to Copy Email Address, and then open your email account in a new tab. When emailing your child's teacher, please make sure to start your message by indicating your child's name, which class they are in, including the period number if this is a secondary child, and the question or concern you have. Please also mention the easiest way for the teacher to communicate back to you by including your phone number or email. Most teachers will return communication within one school day, but if for some reason you are unable to get a response, please call the school's main number and ask to speak to an administrator.